My name's Patrick, Patrick Crabtree, and the name of the business is the Feast Rising Bakery. I've probably been baking bread since my mid-twenties, actually, just at home. Um, and I worked in a couple of pubs as a chef, and I started baking bread in the, uh, in the pubs. I felt it was good enough. While I was working, I just started to do some, uh, some farmer's markets from home. Um, out of my kitchen, one oven, and started from there, really. That's how it began. I remember sort of becoming sort of slightly disillusioned at points and disheartened. But a lot of that was just due to the shift pattern, really, and the, the tiredness, I think. You know, failure doesn't happen, really. Unless, unless the music's playing too loud and I don't hear the timers. <laughs> and then you just get the smell of the burning bread. <laughs> I do um, Cottingham Market on a Thursday morning, every week. Um, and I supply a shop on Newland Avenue called Grain, Grain Whole Foods. Uh, and a couple of cafes, Stephen Harry's on the marina, um, a little cafe on uh, Ferriby Station, the old ticket office, which is really nice. My favourite bread. It's got to be a baguette. Yeah, no doubt about it. like making them, like eating them, and yeah, just... I like looking at them as well because they're just a thing of beauty. The baguettes are about, I don't know, a foot long or so. Yeah, pointy, very pointy, very crusty. The science behind it is really, it's like a veil of mystery. Once you understand what's going on in there, again, it's, it's really simple. So, yeah. The bread making process lends itself really easily to being creative and developing new things actually. So if you think of all the breads around the world, the thousands of styles of bread, they're all made with flour, they're all made with water, just different amounts of water to the flour, and then how you handle the dough, it's three things. I find when I take a bag of local flour rather than a bag of somewhat anonymous mass produced supermarket flour, I can treat the ingredients with more reverence. And that sense of accomplishment, isn't there? Having just maybe, I don't know, picked something up from a local farm shop, made something really good with it that you can sit and share as part of a meal with your family or your friends. So the day begins when the lamb goes on. It's not a good moment, is it? Not at half past two. In the fridges, there'll be doughs, bowls of dough that I made the day before that uh, will have started to rise. I'll start to work with this dough, start to work with it, scale it out, portion it out, sort of shape it a little bit um, and rest it on the counter, let it come more to ambient temperature. And then there's a whole sort of process of just running through different doughs for different things and it all kinds of takes place in the same way each time. Uh, it's like a, just a, a continuous system really. I do a little bit of retail here at the bakery door, just to keep me human, have a bit of contact with people. I'll, I'll be back later on. Bread's going through the oven all the time, up to about 8 o'clock, where it's all kind of loaded into baskets and whatever and taken to the market. 